Welcome everybody, first name Greg, last name Vlog Show. And today we're gonna be checking out three Halloween-esque houses, starting with the Michael Myers house. Uh, today is Halloween, legit Halloween, very, very hot Halloween. It is October 31st, 20. 23 uh, let's go the first house we're going to be looking at is the michael myers house from halloween 1978 that's when the movie halloween came out now i have a couple of videos on this house already uh, i did one two years ago and then i came out last year and i did a full scope of all the houses that were in halloween but this cannot be ignored today because it is Halloween this I feel like is a perfect place to start this video we got Michael Myers himself here coming back to his home once again oh my nice got a little blood on his knife Now this house was completely abandoned when John Carpenter was filming Halloween and he actually was uh, very intrigued with this house and how it looked at the time. It was very run down looking and they uh, got permission to use it and you know from then on it became history. Uh, and the interesting thing about this house is I have a whole vlog on this house of how it actually ended up here because this is not the original location of the house the original location of the house is actually down the road just uh maybe half a block really but uh this house was going to be bulldozed with a bunch of other houses on the side to make room for apartments and you know through b-roll here we're probably looking at it right now those are the apartments that's where it used to be it was moved right here by a man by the name of margrave in 1987 he heard you know through the grapevine that this house was going to be demolished with all the other houses he actually went down to the person that owned the property and the houses at the time he went down there to the office and paid one silver dollar to keep this house the man agreed the, the man obliged he's like yes you can have this house for one dollar one silver dollar one thing you have to do though is get this off my property by the way we are by a train stop you're gonna hear a lot of trains margrave agreed to move this house but he was in a bit of a pinch and he uh hired a truck a, a big enough truck to move it. He moved it just a few blocks to right here on the corner of Mission and Meridian here in South Pasadena. He didn't get the permission or anything to do that, but he placed it here. And then he basically talked the uh, city of South Pasadena to okay this house, you know, because of the uh, importance of the history, the movie history and uh, South Pasadena uh, agreed. They kept the house here ever since 1987. Welcome home, Michael. Why don't you uh, show us around your 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 beautiful home? No? Maybe? Maybe next time. <laughs> Michael Myers waits off in the distance. <laughs> Luckily, can I get you on ca can I get you on camera? Luckily, I have security here. So show them, show them your equipment there, security. What you got there? Oh man, no one's gonna be messing with this. Michael Myers, come on man. Let's be friends, okay? Yeah? I don't know. He doesn't look like he wants to be friends. He, uh, he's, he's a little shy, I think. So this guy back here, just as Michael Myers is playing this part all too well, it's kind of creeping all of us out. This is fun, but also a bit scary.
this is a very popular spot on Halloween, but it's truly just an amazing experience because it's Halloween, the movie on little, Halloween. Uh, little six-year-old Michael Myers went. This is the window that he sees his sister and the boyfriend making out in. Back here is the doorway that he enters through the back to get to the kitchen to get that knife. That's the doorway right there. And right here is the kitchen. Unfortunately, you cannot see in. Unfortunately, it's all uh, either covered by curtains or it has uh, stained glass windows now, so you cannot see inside. A whole new crew just showed up. Great costumes. I mean, they look like real dogs. Wow. I have no idea what exactly is going on here. <laughs> That's a lot of dogs. He is very committed. Like Daniel Day Lewis. <laughs> you deserve an Oscar. All right, that was an interesting day at the Michael Myers house. Now we're off to our next one. Let's go. Now the next Halloween house that we're going to be checking out is the Spadina house, AKA the witch house. Now this house is over in Beverly Hills. It's in a very, very nice neighborhood. Uh, it stands out, but in a beautiful way. It's uh, intentionally dilapidated. It's intentionally whimsical looking, and it looks like something straight out of a fairy tale book. Something that maybe perhaps a witch would live in. Wait, that's actual Warner Brothers right there? Yeah, well, Warner Brothers owns the Wizard of Oz now. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So they're they're putting out all these special costumes and stuff. And that is the Ruby that's exactly how the Ruby Ruby Slipper appears in the movie. Nice. And now this isn't just for Halloween. These pumpkins are here year-round, along with these blackbirds here. However, they do set this place up around Halloween because it is a big hit. They get a lot of kids that come over here because, I mean, look at this house. I also just want to note that, one, that's the Wicked Witch of the West, I was just told, with the ruby red shoes. And these pumpkins and these birds, like I said, are all year round. And not only are they all year round, but they're all around the house. Now this house has a very, very interesting history. Just like the Michael Myers house, which has been moved from its original location, this house as well has been moved from its original location. This house was at one time in Culvert City and was built as an office for a movie studio. Uh, and this was built back in the era of silent movies. Now, this used to be the office for the Willits. I believe it's pronounced Willits or Willet uh, Studios. It was built in 1921 and was moved from the original location around 1926 to the current location now. And it's been here uh, it was owned by a family, the Spadina family, and then afterwards has gone through many different hands, and here it still sits. Now they're getting ready for Halloween because this is a big deal for this house here. Um, it certainly gets a lot of kids that come here. Uh, I was talking to a couple of guys that were setting up some stuff and they said, the wait for this house will be around the block. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the second Halloween house. We got one more to go check out. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the last famous Halloween houses. We got the Thriller House. Now the Thriller video was filmed 40 years ago and is oftentimes thought of as a Halloween song. I mean, who doesn't listen to Thriller on Halloween? Who doesn't play on the radio? What radio station doesn't play Thriller on Halloween? Um, this came out in 1983. 
But the funny thing is about this is that it didn't actually come out on Halloween. It came out after Halloween. The debut of the Thriller video debuted on December 2nd, 1983. Just a fun little fact. Now, of course, behind me right here is the exact steps that Ola Ray, the, the, the woman that played Michael Jackson's girlfriend in Thriller, ran up these steps. And shortly after that, the zombies chased her up into this house. And just looking up to this house like this, it's just so kind of fills you with dread, you know? I just really love the look of this. And just how it looks exactly like it looked from the video. I think what also works is this big tree that just kind of lingers over the top of the house here like this. And, you know, it looks like a regular tree during the day, but at night, it just looks so creepy. I was just told by the woman that was sweeping up in front of the Thriller house that this is the first neighborhood, first suburbs outside of the city. I was also talking to the woman and uh, asked her if uh, most people when they come trick-or-treating here if they know if this is a thriller house and she said yes they do and in fact um, every year she buys more and more candy but she always seems to uh, run out of candy by 8 30. so there's something i had to google i wasn't sure if they actually filmed inside the house but it turns out that uh, only the exterior was filmed and all the rest was filmed in a Hollywood studio. Now, ladies and gentlemen, tell me what house you liked the best. Did you like the Michael Myers house over there in South Pasadena? Did you like the witch house over there in Beverly Hills? Was that your favorite? Or here in Los Angeles, the Thriller House, Michael Jackson's Thriller House. Is this your favorite? Let me know down in the comments. And ladies and gentlemen, over here, if you want to watch the playlist of all my Halloween stuff, it's right there. And if you want to watch a Michael Jackson thriller, all, all the filming locations, all in one video, check this video out right over here. Guys, thank you for joining me. Happy Halloween. I'll see you next time.